Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Live Loading. In this episode, we're gonna do just a quick um, tool demo of the low polygon tree that I made the other day. So there are two type of this uh, low polygon tree creations. So this one, the second one, actually based on uh, the artist's uh, kind of input. So they need to provide the grease pencil stroke and then they should be able to generate this tree. So I'll show you real quick. So this one comes with a, as a zip, which is a blend file. And you can simply load it in Blender um, using Spreadshock zip loading. So there are like, I think two macros that's able to load the, the blend. So I'll just load it. And it should reload the blend as a Blender file. Uh, so, sorry about that, my computer is keep crashing. Uh, I think uh, I just reopened Blender real quick. So, you just need to visit my um, Blender Sushi repository uh, and you get the link and make sure you have Spreadshock add-on installed in Blender. And you tap spacebar and then load the zip. Uh, did I say repository? Yeah, repository. So yeah, there you go. It comes like this. You can delete everything basically and start from scratch. Delete the grease pencil. Maybe I should clean it up. Go to the front view. From the front view, you draw the trunk and the tree. Something like that. Um, actually, I should be able to delete everything delete everything and let's try drawing it again it's a good idea to actually draw it on the 0 0 0 axis um, I'll turn off only render so go to the front view draw it on the 0 0 0 because you might want to kind of instance this tree um, so that's a uh, that's one I can duplicate it and then on a different frame just draw another one so I, I kind of like working this way and it's also um, most of the artists will be happy to, to use this kind of tool because it's provide them so this kind of workflow that um, I'm kind of I think this will work kind of proposing this kind of workflow and if you have a bunch of uh, instant of these objects you can then use a particles and to do more instancing maybe uh, you want to group it or join this thing first like control J oh yeah by the way this thing is currently a um, skin modifier so you need to apply it first might need to make a bit of changes there but anyhow that's how I would do it apply the subserve and I'll join this control J apply the subserve and join this guy control J the one two three uh, control J four five let's say we have five instance of this object and then I will hide this uh, three or actually just put this on different layer so I can also delete the grease pencil and I'm gonna save this real quick file save as okay so we have five different um, tree being generated um, using Spreadshock add-on now we can simply group them Control G and let's wait a few seconds and we can use um, probably we don't need the spread chalk to run anymore we can delete this we can create a let's say a grid for example and with this grid we can create particle simulations and let's scatter some tree 103 and 
I'll turn off the normal, turn off physics, and let's see. We're gonna scatter some group objects. Uh, use the whole group, and it's gonna go to the frame one to emit it. And there you go. We have some bunch of trees being emitted. This guy needs to be reset in position. Alt G. And let's have a look. This guy should pick the objects randomly. Oh, whole group. Um, pick random. Oh, uh, pick random. Okay. So, we, yeah, I think that seems to be pretty good. It has random size as well. We can randomize the rotation. Um, the rotation should be from the normal. Okay, normal should be off, but uh, turn on rotation. Actually, velocity a little. So yeah. So yeah. So this is how you might want to scatter um, this uh, procedurally generated um, tree. Um, currently, my question would be will be like. Um, Maybe the um, maybe the objects, the tree color can be randomized um, whether it is procedurally using cycles or maybe via the object's color or maybe from the vertex color. So that's probably the next thing I would think about. Um, for the tree itself, um, perhaps like if you make like a 64 variations, uh, you cannot tell anymore even with only like five trees your eyes cannot really tell which trees is uh, based on what um, so this is pretty good should be pretty good and if you want to render this out as a with a with a stroke outline you can use freestyle and if you want to see freestyle in the in the uh, render view you have to look at it from the active camera I'll show you real quick so this is the active camera I'll try to frame my scene um, the camera let's set this clipping properly and then we're gonna go to turn on ambient occlusion for now and then turn on the freestyle if you want to get the outline so I'll try a quick render freestyle should be pretty quick with uh, such a polygon such a low poly polygon uh, scene let me check. So it has 117 parts. So mass loading and then freestyle. Gonna look at each geometry and try to make the outline of the tree. Mm. With the procedural tree itself, you can also use this, the first version of the, the setup. The first one actually doesn't need the user input and it's, it's just going to generate a bunch of trees. It's a good idea to turn this into a monad anyway. So freestyle, mesh loading. Okay, this might take a while, so I'm just going to leave it there. Um, okay, few map creations. Let's wait a few more seconds. Feasibility computation. How many objects do we have? So 4,100. Yeah, so that's the freestyle rendering of this tree. Uh, quite low poly. Um, maybe can be better if you use like displacement on the tree. Uh, maybe I can do that inside SphereChalk as well. Um, so you can always improve and refine the, the setup, but this is. Um, kind of the super basic setup um, for low polygon tree. So hopefully you enjoy this one. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.